everyone, it's Kristen Burt for The Web Files. Today we're at the 42 West offices and we have Laurent Twill Tartour, the creator of Urban Wolf, which you'll see on Crackle.com. He's made a huge splash on this side of the world. Let's find out why. Files. We're so glad you're here. Actually, I should welcome say welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> you were here for ITV Fest. It's all about sort of closed caption TV and being watched. It's kind of a scary concept, but it's actually all of our reality, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, completely. It's a modern tale of uh, reality and what could happen if someone uses uh, not in a good way. Uh, all this technology. All right, here on the web files, we always ask people to describe their show in 10 words or less. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. All right, go. Okay. Big eye in the sky, nowhere to hide, run. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> Especially since I know how it ends. Yes. <laughs> or do I know how it ends? That's the other question. But uh, that's really good. What inspired you to write Urban Wolf? I, uh, I came from the a long feature film movie in just in France. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I've decided uh, at that time that uh, it was uh, my time to mm -hmm. make uh, my directorial debut. And uh, yeah, because I'm, uh, I like to be kind of a pioneer, I like that. And I felt that uh, the internet uh, was a new uh, territory for cinema. And because it's also the greatest way to reach a global audience, uh, for very few uh, m amount of money. Now I know you had an interesting way of raising money for your project. <laughs> Tell everyone about this because maybe it'll give some people some ideas. <laughs> okay, I, I, I would be happy if that helps others, of course, to, to do that way. Because this project is for the internet, maybe <laughs> let's go to talk with VC, you know, venture capitalist. Yep. And uh, I say to them, look, I have a project. I didn't say it's a movie, it's a web series, I say it's a startup. Yeah. For the internet, I will uh, create a product, Urban Wolf, 15 actually uh, product, and uh, we'll try to, uh, to put that on the web and to uh, get an audience, etc. And they say, you know what, great, smart. And so I, I found the money, it, it lasts uh, less than one hour to uh, get the approval, first meeting, it was great, and uh, it was done. That's amazing. I think your idea came out of sort of an unfortunate situation. So why don't you tell everyone about that? The theme of the movie you saw is paranoia. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I've been victim of paranoia, <laughs> I would say. And uh, I remember that uh, uh, one of my masters in uh, movie making, Alfred Hitchcock, mm -hmm. he used to say that to get uh, rid of his fear, he made movies about them. So yeah. I've decided to do the same thing with paranoia. <laughs> Are you worried about all these cameras around you? Not anymore. <laughs> this movie was a therapy for me. That's good, that's yeah. good. <laughs> you know, and, and seeing everything too, it, it sort of reminds me of. Um, you know, a born identity and the, the fast pace. Wow, and, thank yeah, you. Oh, you're welcome. It's one of my favorite uh, movies, too. You understand why I, see, I say it's a real big compliment? Because actually, uh, Urban Wolf has been done the opposite way of Born Identity. Why? Because Born Identity, you know, it's a completely handheld camera work. And Urban Wolf is a complete opposite. You don't have not a single camera move in the whole movie. So why I feel it's a compliment? Because at the time when I've decided to make this only with a steady uh, shot, mm -hmm. A member of my crew, you know, advised me, I said, Laurent, it's not good, it, w it will be an old-fashioned movie, the read, the pace won't be good, unique camera moves, steady cams. And I said, no, please, I'm, uh, in a certain way, I'm a, a student of uh, Sergei Eisenstein, which is for me one of the greatest filmmakers ever. And he was an, a real master uh, regarding the editing, and he taught us that the rhythm of a movie, the pace, will come through the editing. Oh and not through the camera move. And so I apply that. So when you say, hey, that remind you uh, born, I say, whoa, so that means that it works. It works. Now, you use some really interesting devices in this. Uh, very little dialogue, but the soundtrack really carries forward the story. Okay, yeah. So can you talk about that balance of sort of like the absence of dialogue, but the importance of the soundtrack? The greatest movie, my favorite one actually, are the movie, even th with dialogue, but that I can say are not uh, non-verbal movie. The, the dialogues, are not driven the action. So this is true cinema for me, in my point of view. So the sound can compensate with the image 
the absence of dialogue to tell the story. In your mind, do you have a season two written? I have uh, all together 75 episodes that has been written. So that means it's uh, the equivalent of five seasons all together. This was the first 15 episode, first season one, I call that. So it's, it's written. I have four more seasons, but I, I don't know. I'm sure that I won't do it because it's so, so big. But the, the real master plan is that. Now, the other thing I want to ask, because I was at a party and I heard a rumor about you. Yes. And the name Michael Bay came up. Ah, yeah. That's uh, also an amazing uh, thing that happens to me. And uh, they heard about uh, Urban Wolf. Mm -hmm. He has, you know, a production company called uh, The Institute. So they asked me to come at Venice Beach in their office to screen Urban Wolf. And what was great is that uh, after the first five episodes, they stopped. They said, OK, it's enough. I thought, wow, big problem, I don't know. They're done, I'm out the door. <laughs> yeah, I was sure, you know. And they said to me, you know what, Laurent? We definitely want to work with you. I said, what, sorry, really? They said, yeah, we don't need to see more. It's enough for us. It's done. So now I'm a director, I'm part of the production company. And we are working now on a project to find a project for me with them. And it's a great Amazing. team, great guy. Was Congratulations. Thank you. That is huge Thanks. news. And what would you advise web series creators with the whole film festival circuit? First of all, to make the, uh, the best movie possible. And for that, I think there are three rules to make a good movie. All right, the three rules. Yeah. First, uh, you need a good story. Second, you need a good story. And third, you need a good story. And done, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I say really make just the best movie possible. That's it. Well, congratulations, Laurent. We appreciate you being here on The Web Files for your second time since I forgot you're here for ITV Fest. And uh, we wish you the best. Thank you. Okay, that was an impressive story, wasn't it? Well, you'll see Urban Wolf premiere on Crackle.com on May 13th. This episode of The Web Files is now closed. I'm Kristen Burke. We'll see you next time.